Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Bianca and we go through very simple homemade recipes. Today we're going to make mashed potatoes. I have a pot of water on the stove on high and we want it to come to a rolling boil. So while that's heating up, we're going to cut these potatoes. I have golden potatoes. I've used russet before and they work fine. The skin is a little thicker on russet but these golden potatoes that I started using are very, very good for mashed potatoes. So I already washed them and got them ready. So we are going to dice them up a little bit so that they could get soft and tender in the boiling water. What you want for this is to make sure that they're in bite-sized pieces for the skin piece of it. So you see, this is still a little bit big because if I were to chomp into mashed potato, I don't want all the skin to be coming with it. Um, so we are just gonna chop them a little bit more and I'll do that for the next ones. It doesn't have to be a perfect chop because eventually they are gonna be mashed. I used to get the boxed flake mashed potatoes in college and they are very convenient and super easy because all you have to do is boil water and then add the flakes in there. But this is just as simple. The only extra step you're doing is cutting the potatoes and making these pretty much the sauce for it. It tastes so much better. It doesn't taste powdery. So this is really great for any type of dinner, Thanksgiving, uh, if you like potatoes for your Christmas dinner. And also what I like to do is sometimes I meal prep uh, shepherd's pie. And if I have leftover potatoes, I will put them into like a loaf pan and wrap them in foil and place them in the freezer. Whenever I know that we're gonna have a meal where I need a carb, side, I pull that mashed potato out probably 24 hours before I'm ready to use it, let it thaw in the fridge, and I'll place it in the oven to heat up. And it's pretty simple. You have homemade mashed potatoes uh, as a side ready to go. Now we have all the potatoes cut up, so we are going to transfer them to our pot. So let's Okay, so we're at the stove. Our water is boiling. I wish I could just throw all these potatoes in all at once, but I don't want to burn myself. So I'm using the spider to drop in the potatoes. Don't splash me. Okay. So we are going to get this back up to a rolling boil, so keep it on high. And I'm gonna put this colander in the sink because eventually we are going to strain out the mashed potatoes. So that's why I used it as our bowl so we don't have to use another dish. Keep this in the sink. This is going to come to a rolling boil and I'll show you once it's ready to go what we're looking for with the potatoes. Okay, so this has been going for probably 10-15 minutes. What we want to do is just poke the potato. You can see my fork is easily going through and mashing it, so that's done. I'm gonna strain this and then we'll be making the sauce in this pot. Okay, I'm gonna put it on medium heat. Throw one stick, I use salted butter. Okay, we're gonna add garlic. I have pre-minced garlic, but if you want to mince your own garlic, you can. We want to get the garlic nice and cooked, so it'll take a minute. We don't want to burn the garlic, so I'm going to turn it down just a bit. Okay, it's looking good. I'm going to add some seasonings. Just going to add a little bit of garlic powder, since there's already garlic. Onion powder. Salt. pepper, and 
and we're gonna put three fourths cup of cream. And this is heavy whipping cream and we are gonna kind of stir it up. It looks a little separated right now, but once we put the mashed potatoes in, it is gonna kind of combine with everything. Okay, we're gonna add our potatoes back. And we are gonna just start mashing. Now it depends on how mashed you want everything. I like it kind of chunky, so I will mash a little bit. Then I'm gonna stir to try to get everything off of the bottom. test hmm I think it needs more salt the good thing is you could always add more seasonings I think it needs more pepper Another spoon. Yes, that tastes good now. Again, very simple recipe, great for everyday meals or Thanksgiving, Christmas dinner. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you want to see more recipes like this, remember to subscribe. See you next time.